Yo, what's up guys? The Boxy Legends back with another video. In this tutorial today, we're going to be doing something interesting. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make teleporters in your game. So, we're going to be making teleporters and basically what a teleporter does it that it teleports one person to another location. And if you don't know what teleport means, it basically means that like you travel somewhere else, like it takes you somewhere else. So, for example, in this scenario, we're going to be making two teleporters, one teleport pad somewhere and the other one somewhere else. And if a player touch on touches like either pad, then they'll get teleported to the other pad, which means that they'll be at where the other pad is. So like we're moving their location. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it now using scripting and let's start. So first we're going to add two parts as teleport pads. So I'll make it right now. How about we make it like a little bit big like this? Maybe a bit smaller actually. Like, this is good for one teleport pad. And I'll make this one red. And how about we make another pad? So we're gonna duplicate it. Oh, I didn't duplicate. We got duplicated. And now we're gonna move it to the other side. And how about we color this one as blue? And now, how about we rename the parts, the teleport pads, as teleport one and teleport two. And now we got that all set up. So before we actually start scripting it, what I want to do is I want to group the parts too. So we're going to group these teleport pads. We're going to group them. And we're going to name the model teleporter. And now we're going to add a script and script this in the following line. Okay, so put this in your script. Over here, this is the script. This is the teleport script. and. You could find it right here inside the teleporter. So you want to put a script inside the teleporter model after you group them, like I said earlier. So let's take a look into the script and let's unveil like what each line is saying basically. So on the top, you could see that we're declaring variables. We're declaring each part. Nothing new. Pretty much all simple. And then when you look down under the under the local variables, you could see that we have a local function. We have an untouch function actually. And we also have the connect functions too. And they're all basically like connecting to these two teleporter parts over here that we put earlier. So basically inside the script, we, we're declaring the character. So like we want to like find the character you could see over here. And other connects to here. This is also related to the humanoid, to the character. So basically when we find a character, we want to find a humanoid because each player in the Roblox game is kind of, it's a humanoid. That's, the, that's their name basically and that and then after that after we declare our variables we put an if statement as you see over here so we're saying if it's a humanoid then we're gonna make them teleport because if it's like a different person like if it's like a part then we're not gonna teleport the part obviously only humanoids you teleport as you could see over here and we teleport them by changing where the humanoid group part is is C frame basically that's like its location we move it to the other part basically and we also have a weight over here basically that's that means that like whenever a player teleports he or she has to wait seven seconds before she could teleport back using that part and down here these are the connects so basically if you touch pad one this part pad over here then you'll get sent to the other pad this is like what it's doing basically and over here it's pretty much the same if you touch teleport 2 then it sends you to teleport 1 that's what it does so let's see it now in action so we're gonna spawn at the blue one well near the blue one now we're gonna go in this is let's see what pad this is I think this is teleport 2 right it is and now if we touch teleport 2 it should send us to teleport 1 and it did send us and remember we have to wait 7 seconds before we could use this pad to get teleported back and after seven seconds, you see it teleports. And if we just stand on here, it'll just keep teleporting us back and forth. So we could just wait seven seconds each seven seconds each time, and it'll teleport us back and forth. And yeah, guys, this is how you make teleporter pads in your Roblox games. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.